Hello everybody, Sanyer, engineer, MBA and investor. And in today's video, there are breaking news. Exition Biotherapeutics has started phase one, phase two clinical trial to potentially cure HIV. This is a private company and this is done through CRISPR based therapy, specifically CRISPR Cas9. I want to cover all of that in this video. Now, before I ask you guys, to do what I will ask you, you guys know exactly what I'll ask you. Destroy that like button, guys. Smash that like button. It's quick, it's free, it's easy. Just underneath this video, there's a like button. If you want to go a step further, you can always subscribe. Thank you so much for support, guys. And even if you want to go a step even further than that, there's hitting that notification bell. And there's also joining this channel. If you look, click on that join button once you subscribe, you'll see a way to support this channel. So thank you so much for support, guys. And let's get into today's video. So Exition Biotherapeutic, this is their press release today. This is breaking news. This is new as of 7.30 a.m. today. And basically what it is, is EBT 101 is a CRISPR-based therapeutics developed as a potential functional cure for people living with HIV. First in-human trial is now open for enrollment. So back end of summer of 2021, we actually covered IND the FDA approving the IND filing from Exhibition Biotherapeutics. And now officially they are entering into their clinical trial, which means they're recruiting people to dose, right? To dose the CRISPR-based therapy that they're trying to uh, go through. And what I'll go here over this press release really briefly is a statement from their CEO. The initiation of this trial is a landmark accomplishment for Exhibition and an important step towards our goal of developing a cure for patients with HIV. So obviously this is very novel. HIV is a worldwide issue. Even in America, this is a serious issue. We all know what it is. We all know this is life threatening and there are currently no, no cure for HIV. And CRISPR is literally going to do something that's never been done before. In this case, this company is trying to leverage CRISPR-Cas9 to tackle um, HIV through an in vivo CRISPR based therapeutics, right? In vivo CRISPR based therapeutics for Cas9. I want to go over a study. Well, first of all, this is their, their clinical government and uh, file, right? Their clinical government website that all these companies, all these CRISPR companies, biotech companies have when they initiate a program when go through, through clinical trials. Clearly, you can see that it's going to be an estimated of nine participants. Uh, this is going to be a long, long-term study, but it is expected all participants will be assessed for eligibility for ATI for, of their background, RIT, for week 12. Our, all participants will be followed through week 48, right? So on day one, eligible participants will receive a single dose of EBT-101, which again is a CRISPR-Cas9 in vivo approach, right? But more specifically, right now, the next question you'd be asking, asking uh, me is, okay, so we know the technology, we know how they're going to deliver it through in vivo approach, which mean injection directly in the body. But then what is the gene, right? And I was looking through their publication and obviously the gene here is CCR5. This is what actually uh, the infamous case in China, which uh, I'm not going to go over here, but uh, CCR5 was the gene that they um, that scientists in China edited out to tackle HIV. And in my opinion, this is what they're doing. Again, it is not disclosed specifically because this is a private company. They're not going to tell you exactly what they do, exactly how they'll do it. Uh, it is obvious. At least we know the tool they're going to do it. And we know the delivery uh, method there through in vivo. But I know more than that, it's going to be hard for us to really gather information because this is a private company just by going through their website, you'll see that if I go here, um, if I go in ex uh, Exition website here, you see that this is their deliver uh, their platform that they're talking about. Obviously, it's just CRISPR at that point, right? Uh, but there's not much more information here. There are previous published papers that you can maybe deduct, obviously based on the pa papers published. But the general gist of it is they're gonna knock out th that gene here, CCR5. Uh, basically, that gene, once they modify it, is basically they'll be able to interrupt the expansion and the availability of HIV in the body of the patient. And then that alone will potentially be a cure for HIV. Again, it is just a potential cure. We need data to come in. 
This is way too early. We have no data yet on human for this program. This is the whole point of starting this clinical trial. And we'll see in the upcoming weeks, specifically in the upcoming months, 2022 will be a big year for not just this company, but for CRISPR as a whole, guys. We have many, many programs in the pipeline. CRISPR Therapeutics with their current program, CTX001, CTX110 with CAR T cells. You have Caribou Biosciences getting their phase one data from um, CBO010. You also have NTLA 2001 getting additional data from their phase one data for their in vivo approach, which are all of these programs are all CRISPR based programs, but obviously some of them are ex vivo, in vivo, some of them are proprietary like Caribou, and then some of them are from private companies like Exition, which is tackling a very, very novel program here. To me, this is gonna be amazing to see what comes in. Finger crossed, guys, this is the new era of CRISPR. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. This is big, HIV is no joke, and I'm so happy that they are going forward with this. Leave me in the comments what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you found value, subscribe if you have not, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Thank you very much. Bye.